All right, all right. I mean, Silibi Pique, Botswana. So I'm just gonna walk around the Silibi Pique center town. See what it looks like in the year 2022. I think today's date is September 29th, a day before the Botswana independence. So yeah, let's walk around and see what people are up to. Lots of traffic today. So that road comes all the way from uh, from the A1, goes to Cerule, joins the A1 to Francis Town Haboroni. And this is uh, this is actually that building there. That's a police station for the town of Sleepy Peak. Where this is a very special, 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 special town because. I was born here and raised here. So this is my town. Born and raised here in Silver Peakway. Went to uh, primary school all the way to senior school, which is uh, high school. So yeah, so you can see it's busy, busy, busy. Gas station. Yeah, what's up, quality editing or camera? Quality, I think. Oh. But I want to get to your mobile direct. Okay, I'm Yeah. Hey, now we're going to go to the next one. Thank you. We're going to Mexico. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to the next one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely busy. You can see a uh, bunch of different stores, restaurant, liquor store. Clothing stores. This is actually a Silibi Pique Town Council. This is where the mayor is based. And any municipal services, you have to come here. We'll end up here at some point, but on another side. So. So yeah. Bank, zebra crossing, restaurant. Oh, BBC, BB, sorry, BBS, Botswana Building Society Bank. Oh, Masscom, mobile store. If you need SIM cards or. Anything like that, cell phones. And this is the police car. These are the police. Beautiful car. <laughs> oh, no furniture store, OP. Oh, Louis, Ellerins, no more Ellerins. Wow. Oh, what a country. I No, Ertabua, Kak, Erta Tartana. Hey, get out of the head, let's go. So you can see our vendors selling vegetables, fruits, 
there's a our police women a good exercise I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's not that hot. Yeah, it's hot, guys. But I'll say 30. Yeah, 30, 33 maybe, 32 degrees, 33 degrees today. It's hot, but it's not too bad. Degrees Celsius. So, yeah. I can buy my last one. What do you get to Oh, and this is uh, what, chicken licking. So, if you want some uh, fried chicken, this is the place to come. You can, you can get a bucket for 130 kula. Busy people lined up. We got soldiers getting that money. We got everybody lined up today. Baba stand at the back. What's the heading? That's what I was asking. Or what do you do with them? Yeah, clothing stores are commenced. If you want any clothing for everybody, men, women, girls, boys, towels. This is a store owned by Indians. All kinds of equipment there, appliances, dodos, shoes. This is a Chinese store, all kinds of stuff you need, you can buy here. Everything you need from house stuff to clothing to luggage suitcases like everything okay and then some uh oh I the eye this is what eye center if you need eyeglasses this is another clothing store CB sauce so this is some kind of what DJ playing some music so this is Pep store. Maybe not some regular Murri I just go cash on that. Okay. Let's turn it higher. So DJ playing some music. Yeah, so there's a festival tomorrow. Tomorrow at the national stadium. It's not a national stadium. Okay, at the stadium. It's a football stadium, but they do events there. So there's going to be a music festival. I don't know who's coming, but yeah, there's something going on there. I'm not going, so. <laughs> Too old for that stuff. Okay, you can see more stores. People lined up to get some money.
These lineups have been paid. Mm -hmm. My dear, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. So this is Pique Square. What's this area? Pique Square, right? Yeah. This was actually an extension of the uh, city center. It was built after. I think I was doing. Uh, I must have been in. 2005? Nah, it was way before that. Way before that. I was in uh, going to school, Kopatsim. I was in. Uh, no, they built it during that time. So around 2000 and 2000, around 2000. Yeah, you can see Pico Square up there. Yeah, see more stuff up there, salons, all kinds of stuff. You can get ice cream there. You got vendors, you can come get some uh, sneakers. You know, everybody out here hustling. You know, it's tough, man. Life is tough, so can't stay home. Gotta do something. Yeah, you can come here, get some, some socks, clothing football t-shirts handbags anything you need so so yeah Rocky only 12 minutes so far <laughs> so not a big mall guys not a big mall this uh Fashion walls, groceries, I mean, clothing store. Hi. And then we got Zenith, which also you can buy all kinds of stuff. So we'll go in. Oh, channel, walk on, walk on. Hey. <laughs> hey, thank you. And then we uh, go here. So yeah, let's keep going. This is Zenith. So we'll go in here. Uh, so we'll go in. I'm looking for a wine opener. Yeah, see if we can find it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there was no wine opener in the other store. Uh, my sister is going to check the other store. So, yeah, this is Silibe Pique. Guys, you know, nothing much. There used to be a uh, something like a, a thing here. Right Lina, it bent down, I remember. Caught fire. Lots of smoke. That was years ago. So it looks like they have rebuilt it. it used to be right here at JC store. So yeah. So nothing. Okay, looks like no wine opener. Maybe, I guess people don't drink wine in Sleepy Pique. Okay, yeah, I think that big store will have it. Ata Cheka. There you got pots. Pretty. But how come BBS didn't have a, a lineup? Okay. No, that's what I mean. Like the BBS ATM didn't have a lineup. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, so more stores over here guys. This is used to be a bar. It still operates it. Okay, it's not a bar anymore apparently. It used to be a bar right there. Fan mat, that's a furniture store. Yeah, so we just walked from the other side there. So we're just gonna walk this way. And you guys can see the bus rank, taxi rank. Which is like a bus station, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, do do. Alright, so this is our government offices, immigration. immigration staff, citizenship, gender affairs. So, yeah, if you want to go. Okay, actually, this building was built by, uh, by the Chinese. I remember I was young in primary school. We used to come and watch them work all the way. There's uh, underground parking. Yeah, you can see that car over there going underground so yeah we, they started all the way deep down build this that was like a long time ago in the 90s so yeah that's the bus uh, actually that's the marketplace starts over there and then that's a uh, bus station can catch the bus here to go Gaps, Aberoni, go Francis Town, villages, and then you have uh, the taxis over there to take you anywhere in town. So yeah, taxi is how much? Eight, eight pula. So taxi per seat in the taxi is eight pula. So you share it with other people. So eight pula with three other people. Everybody pays eight pula per seat. <laughs> yeah so yeah eight pula per seat for a taxi so it's four passengers no four passengers yeah you share with three other people so it's four passengers yeah so but if you want to get the taxi for yourself you have to pay for the other seats yeah so if you take the taxi by yourself we call it taxi special taxi and then you pay 30 you pay 33 pula and actually that's the park right there guys big park it's been neglected it's a beautiful park when I was young it was beautiful we used to come play there really beautiful park I'm gonna try to see if I can get in there sometime apparently you have to pay now to get in uh, like five pool or something like that so yeah we'll keep walking guys so here we are more things hair salon beautiful hair salon there's muddy muddy investment oh actually if i forget this is this is actually botswana post so this is where you come collect your your mail so you can see all these boxes here all numbered boxes so everybody not everybody but you have to register for it um, yeah and then this is where your mail comes come pick it up if it's a big box it doesn't fit 
you have to go inside the post office which is this white building here the entrance is on the other side and then they will give it to you and if it's a box that comes from outside you have to be ready to pay some customs fees to get your box so yeah this is it uh, I'm gonna pause for now and then we'll continue in a bit so yeah another grocery store Cephalana Cephalana Shopper looks like it's called it's a grocery store and that's a bank Absa Absa Bank actually this used to be a Betley's bank here used to be a Betley's bank but now it's Absa so yeah no the, uh, yeah. so yeah okay they don't charge you like a fee oh it's it's e-wallet okay yeah so more grocery stores sorry i mean keep saying grocery stores this is a clothing store CB stores we saw it on the other side this is the second store and this is the post office the one I was telling you about on the other side so this is the main entrance you can also do other things here at the post office like pick up money I think they have also have Western Union they have orange money which is like an e-wallet owned by an orange mobile company so yeah it's a uh, and here you can come throw your parcel to be delivered across the country or international and there you can also pick up money here at this uh, vendors so yeah this is Silvia Pico guys so yeah we used to sit here as kids we used to sit here come play here even after high school, we used to hang out here. For as long as I can remember, this ice, ice cream place has always been here, even before I was born, I think. So it's still going. It's the only one that survived the economy. So. Yeah, Dodos, shoes, so yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh, okay, this one store is one I want to wide open. Another one, one. Hey, how much store does exist? No, 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 I can't do that. That's not the shop part. Yeah, no, I'll do it because I'm not somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Botswana tourism. So, OP, this is if you wanna. What's Botswana tourism for? Not sure. No, like if you want to buy packages or Kovango to go to the Okavango. Oh, okay. Okay. So all they do is just give you information about tourism in Botswana. All right.
Even the butcher, there used to be a butcher here. Sandy's butcher, store closed. Even uh, southern. southern fried chicken it used to be the best fried chicken right here, <laughs> ever. Though I've never ate any fried chicken better than this fried chicken. So, and this is the Silibi Pipwe Town Council. This is uh, this is where the mayor office is, mm. and uh, this is the finance like city. yeah, like t uh, yeah, and also if you wanna do any municipal services hey. yeah License. you come licensing for running your business stuff like that you come to this office and good luck getting anything done and here is the statue of our first president ever mr se srezekhama born in 1921 passed away in 1980 while he was still in office so he was our first ever president of the Republic of Botswana. So yeah, this is the gentleman. He married uh, Ruth, an, uh, Ruth, uh, an English woman from England. Obviously European women. So yeah, his son became a president at some point too. Anyways, that's pretty much the whole thing. Not really much to see. I was gonna ask you, Opie, who cleans like this, the mall? Who's responsible? Council, which is res responsibility of the mayor, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't know why cleaning is such a difficult thing to do, man. And it's not only Silver Peak, it's the whole country. Africa has this problem. Kigali is doing well, obviously, but the rest of the country, nah. The rest of the, world, the continent, that's a huge problem, man. And this is Water Utilities Corporation. This is uh, where you pay your water bill. And apply whatever you want to do yeah so this is us so we started walking from there earlier that's where we started we parked somewhere around here so this is it not much to see S small town sleepy people and something I forgot to mention it's a it's a mining town they actually mine closed uh, some uh, some years ago but he started he got bought by another company a Canadian company so they slowly starting to to reopen so yeah maybe the economy of the town will start booming again because like I said this for me was the best town ever in the world when I was growing up here most peaceful clean low crime rates everything best town for me so we're gonna end it here people and uh, i'm gonna try take a drone shot but if not then this will be it all right ciao